Hello out there, good Tumblr folk. It is I, Kira, here to answer your fascinating questions in this awesome video blog. I'm going to try and get through the whole thing. I just, I have restarted this so many times already because I keep on just saying stupid things. Um, so we're just going to roll with it and see what happens. Um, I got several fascinating questions from you people. Um, some of them anonymous, some of them less anonymous. We like them either way. Um, anonymous person number one wanted to know how tall I am about this tall. Um, that's about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, which I think is a pretty good effort. Erin, um, who I love, everyone should follow Erin. That's uh, your average but unique girl next door. Follow Erin. You won't regret it. Um, I posted one of those things a while back, you know, put a fandom in my ask and I'll tell you my favourite character, blah blah blah, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm answering those questions here. I'm talking about BBC Sherlock. Um, my favourite male character is John Watson because he's excellent and lovely and just like a little pocket man and pretty much he won me over in like the first minute of screen time before I even had any lines. I was just like, oh, my man. Um, <laughs> my favourite female character would be Mrs. Hudson because she's all sort of lovely and motherly and she's sort of feisty as well. And I speak then Mrs. Hudson. Um, my least favourite character would be Irene Adler. Some people love her, some people hate her. I go more this side. Um, it just annoys me. It's not my thing. Um, nothing against Lara Paul, the character, not my jazz. I'd be happy to never see her again. Um, who do you resemble? I don't think I physically resemble any of them. Um, Personality-wise, I guess. <laughs> I don't really resemble any of them either, but if it was anyone, I think I must be closest to Mycroft. I'm both, you know, intellectual types who like to know everything about everything that's going on, that sort of thing. Bit of an air of mystery about ourselves. Um, <laughs> we're really not that much alike, but that's probably where I'd have to lean if I had to be like someone. Um, most attractive would be Sherlock, Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, you know, everyone does the thing where they look at him and they go, oh, he's so weird looking, but you know what, I really like weird looking and it's, he's a really good kind of weird looking, really interesting to look at, and just sort of very fascinatingly pretty. Um, three more characters that I like. Um, I'm going to count Sherlock Holmes as being already said because Otherwise, I don't get to say all the other ones that I like. Um, <laughs> so, also, Jim Moriarty. Come on. Um, he's awesome. Mycroft. I love Mycroft. He's, like, my secret favourite character. Um, and Greg Lestrade. Come on. I'm saying come on a lot. That's not really an explanation, but we're going on. We're rolling. We're rolling. Um, <coughs> Anonymous person number two wanted to know my least favourite episode of each season of The X-Files. Yay, X-Files question! Um, interesting. Least favourite. Um, my least favourite episode of season one would be Space. I think everyone probably kind of is sort of with me on that one. It's just, it's just not that great. It's a bit boring, a bit naff. Mm. Um, <coughs> My least favourite of season two is Dwayne Barry. I know that's really unusual because a lot of people are like, oh my god, it's where the mythology started. I sort of don't really think it is. Technically, the mythology started back in the Earl and Maya Flask anyway. And if you're going to say that it starts with Gully's abduction, it doesn't start with her abduction by Dwayne Barry. It starts with her abduction, abduction, in obsession. Um, anyway, I, I really hate... Derails that I find him really over the top and ridiculous, and so I just I can't stand watching Dwayne Barry. It just makes me want to injure myself. Um, <laughs> um, also, I feel like they totally wasted Crycheck because like the last episode it's like whoa he's working for the bad guys, and then in Dwayne Barry he's just like in the background. They don't do anything with him. I was like, what? You can't just reveal some like chronic bad guy who's undercover and then not do anything with that. Uh. Um, Anyway, least favourite episode of season three would be Syzygy. I know lots of people love it. It just it doesn't work for me. I don't find it that funny. I mostly just find it really irritating. Um, 
the favourite of season four, we synchrony. Different, but difficult pick season four because I'm very fond of season four. Um, I can deal with X Files doing time warps and time lapses and time loops and various other things with time and messing around with it. But um, I, I know time travel, just actual proper time travel, just wasn't quite working for me. I would have preferred for them to steer clear of that. It opens up a big old can of worms that I don't feel that the show was really into exploring. So um, I can do without that one. Season 5, as much as I love Stephen King and would love to love the episode that he co-wrote, Jinga, evil doll, no, it's just laughable. No. Uh, <laughs> season 6, Alpha. It's just a bit naff and silly and, you know, a guy turns into a dog and there's a bit of a crazy chick. She's not crazy, she's just a bit off and she's just a bit strange and a bit boring and annoying. Um, yeah, I just, I just didn't buy anything in Alpha. It just didn't work for me. Um, season 7, my least favourite episode from the whole show, First Person Shooter. <sighs> it's a little bit funny, but mostly it's just cringeworthy. I just feel embarrassed if anyone sees me watching it. I don't do First Person Shooter. Hmm. Um, season 8, least favourite would be Shore Kill. And I, season 8 is my favourite season. I don't hate Shore Kill. I just, it's boring. It's boring. You know, it's one of those episodes that really focuses more on supporting characters than it does on the main characters, and the guest characters in that case are really not that interesting. I couldn't be bothered knowing things about their lives, so no go on the show, Hill. Um, like, favourite of season nine. That's tricky, because there are a lot of different episodes in season nine that I could pick for a lot of different reasons. Um, right now, I'm going to go with William, because there's nothing I like about that episode. Being the person that I am, there are things that I should be able to like about that episode, and so the fact that I don't really exposes it as bad news for me. Just, if, if I tried to go into detail, I would be here for a very long time, and I'm sure you're already bored of the sound of my voice. So, yeah. Uh, not a fan, will No. No, no, no. Um, so thank you, anonymous person number two. Um, last but not least, because, let's face it, you probably want to get out of here. I'm happy if you've stayed with me this long. Um, Kevin. Question from Kevin. Um, Kevin wanted to know my favourite film director and my three favourite films by that director. I'm happy to answer that question, Kevin. My favourite film director would be Peter Weir. Um, and my favourite films by him would be Master and Commander, Far Side of the World, fantastic film, um, inspired me to read all of the books, which I have right here on my shelf, um, best books I ever read. Um, I, just, I, I felt like I could watch that movie for four hours. I could watch that movie for eight hours. It, however long it wanted to go for, I could just sit there completely absorbed in that world and just, just go along with it and have ever so much fun. Me and my sister actually put it on once, three times in one night, just to see whether or not we would get bored. We didn't get bored. We sat and we watched the whole thing each and every time and just... It's a wonderful film. Um, Two are uh, Dead Poets Society. Every person in the world should see Dead Poets Society. If you haven't seen Dead Poets Society, see Dead Poets Society. It's, I always find it really difficult to explain to people why you should see Dead Poets Society. It's just one of those films. You know, it's, it's, it's something very special. And um, I'll, I'll leave it at that because I can't articulate any further. See Dead Poets Society. Um, and number three, The Truman Show. It's 
great, it's funny, you know, Jim Carrey, it's wonderful. Um, but it's also got really complex philosophical ideas in it, you know, it's, it's quite heady as well at the same time as just being this really, really fantastic idea. I just love the table and make the camera wobble. Um, so yeah, Master and Commander, the Poet Society, Truman Show, Peter Weir. Um, thank you for the question, Kevin. Thank you for the question, Eric. Thank you for the question, anonymous folk. I hope this wasn't all too boring, and I hope that the sound of my terrifying Australian accent isn't too awful for you all. Um, I don't think I mucked up too much or had any lengthy pauses in there. Um, let's leave it at that. Um, goodbye. Until next time. Thank you for being around. Thank you for listening to me. See ya.